Hey guys, it's Renee. So today I wanted to test using fondant to make figures with a silicone mold and I tied a chair. I'm going to be using this fondant. It's a one by Wilton. I made a review on this one. Check it out it's on my channel. I'm going to be using this silicone mold of a bird that I got from a local store, but I've seen them online and like stores like Michael's. And speaking of birds, there is a bird singing outside. I think it's really cute. So if you hear it here and there, it's just that. And for this, I'm going to be testing with some cornstarch because a lot of people seem to be using this for their molds. But then I thought, if you don't have cornstarch, what do you do? And so I thought I would just test with some like powder powder sugar, some flour, and nothing. I'm going to be using these brushes that I got from Wilton. For this tree, I'm going to be doing the same things, which first is placing the cornstarch on like the mold, and then putting like the fondant inside, and then just removing it like this, cleaning it, then moving to the powder sugar, doing the same thing, then cleaning it, and then finally with the flour. Once I'm done with the powders, I'm going to be cleaning this, and I'm just going to be going straight up with my fondant. I'm not going to be adding anything. From touching, the silicone mold seems pretty smooth, so I just wanted to know what if you don't have anything, can you do this? I have the same results as far as like the shape coming with the, all the details and stuff. I'm going to let them dry, and I'm just going to remove quickly with this brush all the powder excess that I have all over the place. So here's what I found out. As far as using cornstarch and powder sugar, they're both fine, they work uh, the same pretty much. You get the same results and the details are like the same. It looks pretty much the same to me with those two. If you're pre-coloring your fondant, use any of these two just to prevent your fondant baking dirt. They will work. If you're going to be eating this, I would never use flour because I think it's really safe to be like eating flour like that. I just wanted to test out if it worked. That was my least favorite one. Plus, I got a lot of powder all over the place. If you don't have anything, any powder, cornstarch, nothing, you can do it with nothing and you get great results, but your mold has to be super clean from like every single detail that your mold has. So any like uh, dirt that mold has is gonna transfer into your fondant. And this is the one that I had the most issues with because you think that it's clean, your mold, but at the end, it turns out there is like a tiny spot and it transfers into your uh, like figurine, which is fine if you're gonna be painting this after because you're gonna be covering like the spot, but if you're not, it's gonna be tricky. But yeah, I really hope you like this and it was somehow helpful. I'm gonna be decorating this soon for cake toppers and I'm gonna be showing you an easier way to have less excess on the edges. Stay tuned for that. And yeah, if you like this and it was helpful, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up, subscribe for more. Let me know what you think of this one and share this. Thank you so much for watching. I'll talk to you later and take care. Bye!